During most of the 20th century, and to some extent even now, there has been a race across the globe for funding and providing oil and gas to a growing demand. Today, beyond oil and gas, a new energy revolution is in motion, an unprecedented multi-billion dollar sprint towards renewables and away from burning fossil fuels. While solar and wind are now commonplace, there are other niches within the clean energy sector. One of these is hydrogen. Hydrogen appears as a clean energy alternative to natural gas for powering industries and sectors like shipping, aviation, long-haul tracking, steel manufacturing, among others. Like fossil fuels, hydrogen can be used as a primary source of energy. But unlike fossil fuels, the hydrogen produces no carbon emissions when burned. When combusted, hydrogen releases only water and heat. And today, hydrogen represents a 100 billion industry. Hydrogen can be obtained from water by electrolysis, a process that can be powered by renewable energy. And here we refer to green hydrogen. Hydrogen can also be obtained from natural gas. And here we refer to the so-called gray hydrogen. In the case of green hydrogen, the electrolysis process requires vast amount of energy and remains expensive. And in the case of gray hydrogen, on top, it has a significant carbon footprint. But hydrogen beyond green and gray, that involves processes that require separation of the hydrogen from other molecules, can also be obtained naturally as an underground resource. And here, we are referring to geologic hydrogen, also known as natural hydrogen or white hydrogen. Currently, in Africa, Europe, Australia, and in the US, a growing number of startups are focusing their efforts on the quest for finding vast underground deposits of geologic hydrogen. And this video is relevant because we are witnessing the birth of a new source of clean energy, one with immense potential. Until rel relatively recently, it was commonly accepted that geologic hydrogen couldn't naturally accumulate in large amounts. And the common belief was that there were not geologic hydrogen reservoirs. Well, this is true and false at the same time. Even though hydrogen typically doesn't exist in the same places as oil and gas, there exists large accumulation of the gas underground. What's more, hydrogen is constantly renewing when water and iron minerals react under high temperatures. And similarly to hydrocarbons, given the proper conditions for trapping, this gas can accumulate in underground reservoirs. Also, interestingly, it is possible to recreate the conditions for hydrogen generation by stimulating its production in situ by injecting water into iron-rich formations. Early research says that there might be enough accessible natural hydrogen to power the planet's clean energy needs for generations. In 2012, a discovery made by accident in the West African nation of Mali, in a water well that, that was plugged in, in the late 80s, revealed that the borehole was releasing 90, 98% natural hydrogen. Subsequently, a village close to where the discovery occurred became the first place in the world to get its electricity from a source of natural hydrogen by burning this hydrogen in a retrofitted combustion engine. For the village, it was a game changer, giving people lights in their homes and public spaces for the first time. According to Montreal-based Hydroma, the company behind the discovery in Mali, a layer of impermeable rock traps hydrogen in highly concentrated large quantities close to the surface in an area where Hydroma has already drilled about 30 wells all of which have yielded high concentrations of hydrogen. Hydroma has estimated that there are 630 billion cubic meters of hydrogen, around 60 million tons of natural hydrogen in the Mali field, and the company is forging ahead with plans to become commercial. Last summer, researchers discovered a geologic hydrogen deposit under the coal fields of the northeastern French Lorraine region. 
To this day, this finding represents the world's largest reserve of geologic hydrogen. It is estimated that this reserve could contain approximately 46 million tons of hydrogen, the equivalent of more than half of the world's current annual production of gray hydrogen. This discovery has generated great excitement not only in France, but worldwide. And this discovery could be a big step forward in the transition towards clean, climate-friendly energy sources. Currently, only small startups companies are taking the risks associated to exploration and drilling for geologic hydrogen. But it is expected that when they find the sweet spots, the bigger companies will put much larger amounts of money and accelerate the development significantly. A United States Geologic Survey simulation model estimated between tens of millions and tens of billions of megatons of hydrogen are in the Earth's crust. Though that doesn't mean that it is all accessible or viable to be exploited since most, most of it is either too deep underground or too far offshore. But if only 1% was recover, recoverable, that would be enough hydrogen to keep the world going for decades, if, even if there was a source in demand for hydrogen. Well, not everything is sunshine and rainbows here, since despite growing enthusiasm, the challenges surrounding natural hydrogen are, are still quite big. Even if large amounts could be tapped underground, the next challenge will be storing and transporting hydrogen over long distances. Hydrogen is the lightest of all atoms and loves to make its escape into the atmosphere. So wastage becomes an issue. And it takes up a lot of space unless pressurized or liquefied, which is, could be expensive. Also, there could be a mismatch where the natural hydrogen is being discovered and where it could be used, which will require massive investments in completely new infrastructure for transmission and distribution to end users. Now, in the brighter side, like we discussed in a previous video about geothermal energy, Geologic hydrogen represents an opportunity to the oil and gas industry since, like oil and gas, geologic hydrogen is found underground and can be reached by drilling methods. Geologic hydrogen poses an opportunity for know-how and skills transfer, and the use of existing tools, including prospection and exploration methods, and oil and gas infrastructure. Whatever the difficulties that we might encounter on the quest for untapping geologic hydrogen, its potential benefits from the decarbonization perspective to the economic remains incommensurable. Because the reserves of hydrogen on Earth could potentially supply huge amounts of energy required for a clean energy transition, I think, at least, it is worth trying. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, like and subscribe. Ah, and Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2024.